to my channel. It's Kim, Kimmy Does MS. I'm so happy that you are here. Hello there, everyone. <laughs> I am um, fresh out the tub, but your girl got some breakouts like a little kid, and we gotta handle this stuff. We gotta handle this. Um, Y'all, it's been raining and nasty and just awful the weather here um the past um day or two today is actually thursday january 24th um i mean wednesday wednesday lord <laughs> wednesday january 24th i can't even think um so i'm just now starting the weekly vlog yada 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 um because Oh my gosh, I can't ever find what I'm looking for. Um, hold on. I'm just starting the vlog. Um, forgive me. I did not have anything going on because it was, when I say it's raining, raining, and y'all know how it's in Houston. It just rains and rains and rains and rains and rains and rains. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, I don't have. I didn't have anything going on this week at all, actually, um, to be vlogging. Like, I literally, like I said, didn't go anywhere because it's the weather has just been ugly. And then, you know, my moods be real funky when, when, when that happens. So, yeah. I thought I bought some pimple patches from the store. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on. I mean, everything but the pimple patches. Y'all got stuff everywhere. But all my skincare stuff is usually in the same spot. So I don't know why I can't find it. Anyway, tomorrow I have um, rodeo stuff. Um, it's a meeting. It's mandatory. So I have to be there. And um. Trying to figure out which one of these eye masks I want. So I think I'm going to do this one. Um, It's mandatory badge pickup and stuff. Y'all, I had so much fun at the rodeo party. It was so much fun. It was so much fun, y'all. I'm very happy to be a part of the committee. And to be a part of Rodeo Houston. Like, it's an honor. So... Yeah, I cannot get this thing to, that's what they look like, but they're like really kind of wavy feeling. Okay, so this is it. So does it split into two? Like what's happening here? Because. Hold on, let me check this out. Better to get that. It was too complicated and it's very oily. And with my skin breaking out the way it is, oil is the last thing I need anywhere near my face. So I'll try um, one of these. These. Let's hope they're not super oily. Anyway, y'all yeah, had so much fun at the party. Um, the upcoming season, I'm gonna be looking forward to it. Like I said, my my duty uh, will be dispatching emergency help to where it's needed. Like um, if you need an ambulance, or if you need um, if you need an ambulance, or if you need uh, medical, that kind of thing, be anything. Scrape the knee um a heart attack it could be anything um a fire even safety like glass on the ground stuff like that so yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm looking so forward to working the rodeo and the rodeo is like literally built on volunteers so um that's how they're able to do so much but it has its perks. Of course, I get to get in most concerts for free. Um, we get um, 
we have parties and at all our meetings we have open bar and food catered and that's always a good thing um because some of us have to drive a little bit so it's always good to have like some food and stuff and yeah it's always pretty pretty good for us it's this discoloration serum y'all this is gonna drive me crazy if i can't find them pimple patches hold on i can't find them so I guess it just won't have them. Anyway, um, getting ready to old school. So for eight on the scalp, cause it's itchy and um, and make sure it don't start that flaking stuff. My scalp has actually been doing pretty, pretty good. So I wanna make sure I um keep it that way. I'm trying to get me a healthy scalp. You know, my um my beautician, she does like she did the scalp scrub on me last time. Ooh, babe, you talking about the scalp felt amazing. Oh my god, it felt so good. It felt so good. So yeah. And I know a lot of people don't really like the old school stuff, but it works for me. You know, you gotta do what works for you. And this works for me as far as like my itchy scalp. Um, it's the best for me and my itchy scalp. I need to send my son a jar cause he was talking about his scalp itching and flaking. So I probably need to send him some, but you could tell I need a retwist now too. You could kind of tell. I'm gonna spray my stuff. And it sprays in a straight line, so I'm just kind of <laughs> just trying to get the trying to get them caught. This is rosemary and mint leave-in conditioner. Um, I actually like this stuff a lot. It keeps my locks moisturized, but not too oily. So, yeah, I actually like this a lot. I spray some in my hand so I can get more into the hair. I don't know. I don't have nothing tonight, yo. Now I had a scarf in here. And anyway, I was gonna try to um braid it, twist it down a little bit because it's um I get real itchy in my sleep. Um, no, I don't have no bed bugs, nothing like that. Don't. <laughs> Don't come for me. Um, but yeah, I get real itchy in my sleep. I have, um, God, is it urticaria? I don't know. Anyway, I got something. Now, I take itchy pills. Um, it's part of my MS. It feels like things are crawling on me. And so, if my hair isn't properly put away, I feel like, you know, something's crawling on me. And it's really just be my hair. So, I need to just kind of plait it down so because it does the most when I'm trying to sleep. So, that's what we finna do. I don't know how to do hair at all. I don't know how God bless me with two daughters because baby in the hair department, I suck. <laughs> I used to have a friend that used to call um, Candace Pound. She was a little girl. Cause baby, I sucked it, and then my oldest daughter, her stepmama, did hair, so she would get her hair done a lot. Um, with her, cause yeah, child, it took some mess. Let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, I got a lotion. My Bate. This is my favorite lotion in the world. The Nivea Oil and Fuse Lotion with jojoba oil, cherry blossom. You start this. And because it's nighttime, 
I'm gonna mix it with some Dr. Teal's lavender. Cause we're not gonna go to that dry cause all that is gonna do is make me itchy even more. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. Um, so I have anything to talk to y'all about? Not really. Um, just some upcoming things I have. Um, which I know not to say say things too far in advance because of the simple fact that I will cancel plans whenever I'm not feeling the vibe. Um, I'll cancel plans. I'll change my mind about stuff. You know, I do. I go go some people too. But <laughs> this weekend, for sure, for sure. Like I said, I have my meeting tomorrow. Um. What else? I have nothing on Friday. I want to go to Trader Joe's, so I might end up doing that on Friday. And then Saturday, work in Canvas has practice. And then Sunday, I have my um, E4S meeting. And uh, let me get my chest on. Yeah, I have my E4S um, meeting on my January mixer. But it's going to be more, it's going to be like, a lot of people there. I don't. Well, I'm saying it, and I really don't know who else going. But I know that it's gonna be just not just us there. It's gonna be some. She invited some other people too. So, yeah. So, those are a couple of things that I have going on. Like I said, I I need to go to Trader Joe's. Saturday, Candace got practice. Um, that's about it. I don't really have much going on, so it's probably gonna be a short vlog, but nonetheless, it's a vlog, right? Set these off, and my goal is to eventually not have these luggage under my eyes, but it's neither here nor there because it's just gonna be there anyway. I cannot find my pimple patches. I'm going to search my bathroom when I get back to my room. And I'll really check in with the guys in a bit. He is enamored with the ceiling fan and his shadow. And it's hilarious. He looked like he ready to risk it on. I'm trying to watch this live with me. And I just had to stop and record this. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm getting ready to go to my rodeo meeting and I'm do a little bit of something I need to carve out my brows a little so I don't know where my I think I left my stuff in my other one anyway let me um figure these eyes out and I'll be right back I just opted for some tinted moisturizer. It's not full coverage. Some of my dark spots will show. I do not care. I just wanted to conceal just a smidgen of the ugly. <laughs> so I just been in here blending. Blending. Blending like crazy. And so that's what we're doing. I don't want to do too much. Um, I don't know how long the meeting is. But, um, today, but I did when I was somewhat decent, you know, <laughs> I put on some setting powder. This is the NYX finishing powder, not baking or highlighting or anything like that because it's literally just to set my face. That's it. That's it. I don't think I'm going to do anything with my eyes. Probably not. I'll just put some lashes on. I'll call it a day. Because I'm going to put some Anyway, yeah, I hope the meeting turns out to be a good meeting. I got two different lashes here. Oh no, those are definitely not the lashes. So, 
I be, I have to realize that I don't be showing y'all shit. I be, I don't be showing y'all. Still trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on. I'm just gonna put on some jeans, my boots, and a shirt. I'm gonna pray on my scooter that it works. But the good thing is it is not raining. I was so worried about that, y'all. I was like, Lord, if it's raining, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Like, at all, cause, yeah. I'm gonna put a little blush on, cause I just feel a little washed out, quote unquote. This is needed. You barely see it. We're just gonna soak it a little bit there. And I'm probably just gonna put some gloss or something on. Oh, this is the perfect time for me to try this Sangria um little champagne bottle looking stuff. Yeah. Let me figure out how to open this little bit. This is what it looks like. I had pulled this part, which is not anything, but you unscrew it. That's cute. Oh my God, this is so pretty, y'all. It's like a new color. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And I thought this was sangria, but it's not. The Cellar Jelly Lip Gloss. I don't know what this color is. I guess this is the color, duh. But Candace had one, it was red looking and it was sangria, but baby, hold on. Hold on, Miss A, you know it was only a dollar. Shit, I liked that. My lashes are dry. I'm gonna put them on. Y'all know I always do one lash better than the other. I don't know why, but it always happens like that. But whatever. They on. <laughs> anyway, I'm basically done. Let me go get dressed. Alrighty, y'all. I am headed out. Um, I put on this too big shirt and my sweater on top of it because it looks like the shirt was just engulfing my body um i have body dysmorphia really bad and i always buy my clothes too big i do not like um things close to me like touching me so that's probably why um let's talk about it let's let's talk about body dysmorphia it's real it's a real thing um it can make you believe that you're skinnier or bigger or fatter than what you really are and I definitely, like, I've lost the weight. I'm losing weight. But I can't wrap my head around it, if that makes sense. So, to me, I feel like, you know, that big girl is just there. I'm still the big girl. And that's what I'm feeling. So, yeah. So, for me, I still feel like the big girl. So I don't buy clothes like I'm like I buy them still too big. Like I probably could wear two eggs. I'm still buying three eggs and four eggs. This shirt I have on is four eggs. If that kind of makes sense. Um, my jeans I had to put a belt on. They're too big. But I just didn't. I don't know. Like I, it's very hard for me to to buy clothes that fit me because it's like in my mind I don't believe I'm a certain size. 
so I said that I was going to go shopping and start you know getting a few pieces um, especially some jeans from for the rodeo coming up um, I was gonna go into the store and try on some jeans so we'll see how that works out we'll see <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I have body dysmorphia terribly, y'all. It's it's pretty bad. Um, but I am excited just about this journey in general. Um, well, the truth behind my weight loss is uh, semaglutide. I started semaglutide injections right around Thanksgiving. Um, and then I lost. 18 pounds I stopped taking it right before Christmas and I did not restart it back yet but I plan on restarting on Monday so um, my appetite still not it's still low like I'm on it so and that's a good thing because um, you don't get hangry it regulates your blood sugar and my last um, doctor's appointment, I was considered pre-diabetic, so that qualified me for it. I was I was considered pre-diabetic, so that qualified me for it. Um, for Ozempic. Um, so my insurance covers it. So that was a blessing. So yeah. So that's the secret behind my weight loss, y'all. And I'm excited to share the upcoming journey with you all. Um, like I said, I was only on it for a little bit and then I stopped around Christmas time because what happened was um, I wanted to eat. <laughs> I'm greedy. I wanted to eat for Christmas and I did not want to get sick eating. Um, if you eat too much on it or, you know, you get nauseous on it, so sometimes you just don't want to eat anything. And I wanted to eat <clears throat> things I probably shouldn't have been eating, but I still ended up not eating too much because of the um hold on for my GPS. Continue on Luetta Road for gotta tell me the fastest way to get there. You are on the fastest route despite Um so yeah, so I wanted to get off of it so I could eat. <laughs> Which and I still ended up not eating because I guess it stays in your system. So because I still feel it in my system. So I go to a higher dose. Um and like I said, I will be restarting that on Monday. I like to streamline things, so we're starting it on Monday. My um, yeah. So that's the secret behind my weight loss, which is not really a secret because Texas 249 um, Access Road, Tomball Parkway. Everybody on it. Oprah on it. Everybody on it. Shit. Let's be for real. It's a lot of people on it that won't admit that they're on it. A lot of people are keeping it a secret. I was not going to do the whole fitness girly journey uh journey on youtube and stuff and try to fake like i wasn't on it but i was the also line, not going to share lane to turn left onto texas 249 Access i wasn't going to share Humboldt that i was Parkway. on it either because i you know i didn't know i was kind of embarrassed in a quarter mile like kind of embarrassed to take about the texas it. 249 south ramp <sighs> okay i hear you i was kind of embarrassed about it um telling people you know because people judge you for it not being a natural weight loss or whatever but also too I have health conditions so um I have health conditions and obviously I can afford to go to like a weight loss doctor or anything I can't afford that um so use the left lane my health conditions qualified me so there we go then merge on to Texas 249 south um anyway let me get on where I need to get on and I'll pick you guys up when I get there well I did not check in um with you guys at the meeting um i lost my scooter key yeah i don't know where my scooter key is and um y'all i don't know where it is i searched everywhere for it and i, I can't i was driving when i was talking to y'all and i came back to the house i looked and looked and looked i cannot find it and I'm literally, I was in tears. I wasn't even going to go to the meeting. Because I was about to cry. And I was like, Kim, you have to go to the meeting. It's, you know, 
it's mandatory you gotta pick your stuff up you don't want to be stuck without your your things your badges and parking passes and stuff so i went i used my walker um now to know me is to know that the walker using the walker for me is absolutely humiliating i um uh, would rather use my scooter i feel like the looks the dirty looks are or what I call judgmental looks, which is probably all in my head, um, are more when I'm on my walker because I'm young. So, yeah. So I absolutely hate using it. But I had to whip it out because I was like, if I got to stop and sit down, because I didn't know how far the walk was going to be because just as I suspected, they had the boat show and then it looks like another committee had a meeting. So, yeah. So I was just there. <laughs> Um, too late, and I had to park, find somewhere to park, so, <sighs> that sucks, so, <sighs> luckily, I made it inside, um, and it wasn't too bad with my walker, I guess it's, it's all in my head most of the time, I'm trying to, um, I guess it'd be all in my head most of the time, but, I'm very self-conscious again, like I said, about using it. So, yeah. Oh, these, these feel so good. These feel better than the other ones. Anyway, um, yeah, so i um went in there they had a long line for the food and they had three bars but all the lines were long i did not want any alcohol because i was already frustrated um so i just wanted um a coke so we did the meeting so i waited so after the meeting was over and got some food they had meatballs and sandwiches um, a couple of charcuterie boards and crackers and cheeses we know and they had fruit tray and they had um cakes so i just had some meatballs some chips and salsa um some pineapple that's all i had i didn't have much um but yeah and that was that and i was able to pick up my badge and i'm so excited um like they said it's an honor and a privilege to have one um we cannot share it. We cannot give it away. But it is good for me and a guest um, to go into the rodeo, the carnival grounds. So that's always a good thing. Um, and for the concerts and things. But they were talking about some of the shows were sold out already. And they were like, we might not be able to get in for free because capacity and stuff. So, yeah, we'll just see about that but yeah i just um i'm tired i'm i'm tired i'm aggravated because i still don't know where to even begin looking for my scooter i mean my my key for my scooter um when the rodeo time comes for me to volunteer i'm gonna rent a scooter until i get my service whichever one comes first because um renting them is actually cheaper than me buying a brand new battery but i'm not buying a battery if that's not what i need so i'm gonna take it to get serviced um because i have to be able to make it pretty far because of parking purposes because i buy my dumb ass signed up for four night shifts and so day shifts i don't know i'm gonna try to go on a little shift board thing and see if i could change it to day shift because yeah anyway um i just wanted to check in with you guys i am actually about to go to bed and I will check with you guys later. Okay, y'all. It is four now. I'm headed to pick up Candace from school. And we are supposed to go to the grocery store. It was a few things I wanted to pick up from Trader Joe's. Um, it was a few things I wanted to pick up from Trader Joe's. And like a couple of things from Aldi. Um... So I can get back on track, which I haven't been off track. So like I don't have an appetite per se. 
um, with the summer blue tie. However, when I do eat stuff, it has to be the best option. So I need to get back on track um, with that. This weather is really putting a damper on my plans. So, so anyway, yeah. Y'all, it's this rain. Oh, now mind you. When today started, it was the most beautiful day yesterday and today. Sunshiny, beautiful, and then bam. It literally just came out of nowhere. So I'm just trying to make it to Candace. She um went to Chick-fil-A after school because it was in walking distance and she didn't have her bus pass with her. Um she was supposed to go to the gym. But she didn't have her bus pass with her, so she um, walked over to Chick Fil A, and she left her gym bag in the classroom. And the teacher had left and locked the classroom door, so her fault. So I didn't know. We didn't know it was gonna be storming like this. Like no freaking clue. So I'm almost there. Which I know how this traffic can be. <laughs> Y'all definitely know how using traffic can be. It is 5:35 on a Friday. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's taking me a little minute to get to her. I'll check in with you guys when we on our way to Trader Joe's. They didn't have hardly anything that I was looking for. So, yeah, I grabbed a few things and now we um, we're going to head to HEB, but it's like pouring down again. So, yeah, check in with you guys when I get to the house. Luca Buka. Hey, mama. Girl, she ain't stabbing me. <laughs> Luca Buka. Oh, she turned my head, Kyle. Fire because I'm freezing. Candace got her game going over there. I'm slaying here. It's all mine. A case of water on the floor behind me. All the Pepsi. I mean, the Dr. Pepper's none of your business. <laughs> anyway, we are chilling. Candace had practice. We was on the way. I was on my way to drop her off, y'all. Tell me why. They she checked the the group chat thing, and sure enough, practice was canceled. So, good thing we weren't too, too far. So, it turned into a nice, chill evening at the house. It's a little chilly to me. It's been kind of cloudy and dreary today. So, that kind of worked out just fine. So, we just going to chill tonight. I'm watching um, vlogs and stuff on my phone. Scrolling social media. A chill night. Check in with you guys later. Oh, Oh, it's cocktail over now. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Y'all, I didn't do anything last night. We sat there and watched um, One Piece. I don't know if y'all are into anime or anything, but One Piece is an anime. That's like a million episodes, though. And um, they made a live action one on Netflix. And I'm late. I know I'm late. I've been wanting to watch it since it came out. Hold on. Watching um, a vlog, my girl, Drea. Um, so, I... <laughs> I... I'm late to the party, but it's good. I only got the first few episodes in, and this is definitely gonna be me and Candace's thing that we watched uh, finish up this week. But right now, I'm fixing to uh, shower, um, wash my face, do my skincare stuff, and get ready. We're going to the mall. I'm taking her and a friend to Memorial City Mall. Her dad gave her some money, and um, that's what she wants to do with her money. I can't afford to go buy her a bunch of stuff anyway, so this actually works out perfect because she needs a few things. So I'm going to run her to Memorial City Mall because I'm off today. I was supposed to go to um, a brunch with my E4S sisters, a drag queen brunch, but I did not want to attend. I know it has nothing to do with the drag queens and stuff. I just, I, I wasn't in a festive mood like that. Like, you have to be like in a fun party mood to go to stuff like that and i'm definitely not in that headspace so love y'all ladies a bunch and i miss y'all but i'll have to catch y'all at the next event 
But anyway, I'm about to get ready. And yes, I have my morning manly voice on. So let me get me some coffee and get myself together. Y'all, tell me why I just put this dress on over me because I have my bra on. I have done my shower, my skincare. I'm tired. <laughs> tired. Y'all know I don't take showers. I take baths. And I was in a rush and I had to wash my ass. So here we are. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take Candace to Memorial City Mall. If you're from Houston, you know that's a pretty big mall. Um, it's very nice, comparable to the gallery actually. Um, they do have some high-end stores, and then they don't have, but they don't have as many as the gallery, but they do have some. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing my little moisturizing. I don't think I'm gonna do no makeup though. I don't really feel like I feel like um some lashes would probably suffice y'all oh, I didn't tell y'all so remember I lost my scooter key I can't find it still so I went on Amazon and found the replacement key and it was like one day shipping so it came in yesterday why if it I was like, yes, 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 cause baby, who was about to be upset? <laughs> Bad enough, the scooter already not really acting like it's supposed to, but yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm about to figure out, let me figure out what I'm gonna do with my face, hold on. So I did some tinted moisturizer, but y'all tell me why when I squeeze the damn moisturizer, it got on my damn jeans and I'm annoyed. I'm trying to take a makeup wipe to get it off and I'm kind of annoyed by it. Anyway, yeah, I got the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. I wasn't doing no makeup, but anyway, I just, my skin, you know, the discolorations. And I know you still see the dark, but I feel like it kind of filters me out a little, you know naturally so let me um set it and this is the nyx hd finishing powder now i'm setting it with because y'all know i'm oily in the fuck <laughs> and see how it takes the shine off so, I probably could have did some under eye concealer, but I just did not feel like it with all that, y'all. I just don't. But I'm gonna put these lashes on for sure. For sure, y'all know I do not like to go nowhere with all my lashes. Y'all know, sister girl, I love her lashes. Try to move the camera around so when I do something, y'all can see what I'm doing. Anyway, y'all, one piece was good. The live action, it was really good. Well, I've not finished it yet, but so far it's been really good, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I never watched the anime, and I never read the manga, but it's really good so we might have us another little show night tonight with our little snakes i had me a little cocktail baby i was chilling on a saturday night that's how it is when you're single and you got no man you got nowhere to be <laughs> waiting for my lashes to dry i was lotioning up but y'all look at my skin <laughs> Just know if you want to date me, you're getting eczema scars and fresh spots. That's just what it is. They're everywhere. It's what you're getting. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Um, They're pretty bad. But it is what it is. I also have a couple on my thigh and my leg. 
mostly just like the upper area, arms, things like that. Um, but yeah. Alright, I usually do one good. <clears throat> and then I always have trouble with the other. So this one went on perfect. So no, I'm afraid. <laughs> Ooh. I'm shocked. I'm very shocked. Look how the lashes make a big, huge difference on your face. Like, it took my look from to here. <laughs> anyway, let me um, put on my shirt. Because I grabbed one of my little $1.99 clearance shirts from Old Navy. And then I'll be right there. I hear Candace dilly dallying around and I hear her going downstairs. So maybe her friend is here. Their mom's dropping them off. And um, yeah, that's the shirt. Hope it fits though. That's how you know the win the weight loss, you can tell. Let me put on some gloss. Let me put this one on. I'm gonna see if they have a Miss A in the mall because these were only a dollar and i really love this so i'm gonna see if they have a miss a in memorial city mall let's see if i'm about to look it up check this They keep showing me with a book mom, but come on, store locator, let's do this. Yo, for real? Bro, tell me why they don't have one. They got one in Katie Mills, Deerbrook, Williams, the outlet. <sighs> that sucks. I really, really, really wanted another one of these lip glosses. I wanted to see what other colors that they had. Anyway, let me um, go put my shirt on and stuff. I'll be right back. Hello. Look how pretty my baby y'all. I love when she blows out her fro. Anyway, we're waiting on her friend to come and then we will be headed to the mall. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day. Hold on. Oh, this is the bag. Candace was crocheting for me y'all. Isn't it cute? Well, for us. <laughs> <laughs> I want one though, so I, I might need to go get another kit because I like it and I'm jealous she's using it. <laughs> in the mall um i'm taking me a little break i'm sitting over like by the couches and stuff um just taking a little break i don't know where the girls are but this is where i am i know they said they were gonna go ice skating so i'm probably gonna go watch them do that um but they're not there now so i probably need to go find me something to eat because i haven't eaten today but yeah we're at the mall all right my own time is done. I didn't record anything in there because um, it wasn't my mall trip. <laughs> I really didn't do anything. But just scoot around the mall. Um, people watching. I got me one bottle of lotion from Bath and Body Works because um, it was on clearance. $3. Hold on. Um, winter, winter candy apple. Just some hand lotion. I'm going to hold this thing up. Anyway, um yeah i just bought that just i could keep around the house like when i wash my hands i could just um put some lotion on my hands but 
yeah that's it the girls on their way back to the um van i'm already in i'm put my scooter up and everything all by myself so yeah i don't know why i was trying to hold the thing up and film <laughs> anyway if you have made it this far in the vlog i do thank you very much for your support please consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye